In this brief demo, we'll cover what Process Street is, how it works, and how it can benefit you and your company. First, let's touch on why most of our customers seek out Process Street in the first place, and perhaps why you yourself are tuning in today. Companies that use Process Street range in size and industry. From smaller boutique businesses such as financial firms, marketing agencies, and law firms, to worldwide franchises like Property Management Incorporated and Anytime Fitness, to large enterprise organizations with thousands of employees like Salesforce, HCA Healthcare, and Big Five Sporting Goods. And there are two reasons companies seek out Process Street. The first reason is they know that they'll have a competitive advantage when their operations are solidly documented and streamlined. They'll be positioned as a leader in their industry, their processes become valuable intellectual property, and their company's valuation increases overall. The second reason is that not having their processes streamlined is starting to become a frustrating and even expensive business problem. That might look like being maxed out and therefore leaving money at the table, deliverables slipping between the cracks or mistakes being made leaving customers dissatisfied or putting compliance requirements in jeopardy or just overall inefficiency. If you can relate to anything along the lines of what I've just described, you're in the right place. So just what is Process Street? Process Street is a powerful AI-fueled platform that makes it simple to document, track, manage, and automate your company's knowledge and recurring work. It takes antiquated, overly complex processes that are mistake-prone and really hard to follow, like this, and turns them into an actionable and streamlined experience like this. I'll show you how it works. So there are several tools available to you in Process Street. Let's start with the basics. First, you have pages. Pages are perfect for storing reference information and knowledge that you want to have available at your team's fingertips, such as a paid time off policy, a reference of your company's tech stack, and even an entire employee handbook that links out to all of the various pages that house your policies and company knowledge. You also have forms. Forms allow you to collect data either internally among your team or externally with prospects, clients, and vendors. The information from these forms can automatically be added to spreadsheets, ticketing applications, and other tools that you use every day, or it can be collected right within Process Street, like in this data set right here. Forms can also be used to automatically run workflows, like this, to guide your team step-by-step -step through a process. In this case, our maintenance request form launched a maintenance fulfillment process. You can see our list of tasks on the left and the details for implementing those tasks in the center along with due dates and assignments. Now this here is a very simple workflow with just a few steps. However, the workflow tool is where you'll get tons of power from Process Street. Because where Process Street really shines is when it comes to more complex, actionable, recurring work that needs to be assigned, tracked, and implemented regularly and consistently. In other words, your processes. By the way, 90% of what most people think of as project management is actually process management. If you're going to do it more than once, it's not a project, it's a process. Examples are running monthly payroll, onboarding or offboarding, provisioning and deprovisioning user accounts, creating, publishing, and promoting marketing content, conducting audits, due diligence on investments, generating quotes for services, quality control checks, manufacturing or insulation processes, literally any recurring work. If you do it more than once, it's a process and you need a process management platform. So the way it works with Process Street is you create your workflow once, and that becomes your master blueprint for that process. In this case, our standardized employee onboarding process. Then, every time you need to implement that process, you run the workflow, creating a copy of that process for each unique instance. In this case, the specific employee we're onboarding. We call each instance a workflow run. To build a workflow in Process Street, you can use our drag and drop editor, or you can have Process AI build it for you. So let's create a new workflow. You can build your own from scratch, start from an existing template, 
or upload an already documented process and AI will convert it into Process Street's format for you. Or you can even have Process AI build a workflow from scratch by simply telling it what workflow you need to create. Watch this. I'll choose Generate with AI and I'll say I want a workflow for a client onboarding. Now watch how this workflow is being built in front of my eyes. This shows you how building a workflow is a matter of building out your task list and then dragging and dropping relevant elements as needed. I can use this workflow right away, or I can use it as a good jumping off point, which I can customize as needed. Now, let me jump into a workflow that I've already customized. Let's take a deeper look at our client onboarding example. Here, you can see all the clients that we're currently onboarding. When we're ready to onboard a new client, we can easily do so by just choosing to run a workflow. Remember, we don't need to configure our process again each time like you do with most project management platforms. A simple click of a button and the process is ready to run. But before I run this workflow, let's touch on automations. Process Street integrates with virtually any other tool you may be using. So instead of running the workflow from Process Street itself, you can also run your workflow automatically when an activity happens in another platform that your team is already used to spending most of their time. For example, when a candidate's status in your HRIS system changes to hired, or a Calendly event is booked, or a record is added to your database, or a specific type of email is sent. For client onboarding, the process starts when the deal is won. So in this example, we want to run our workflow from Salesforce. This is how it works. Say your sales rep just closed a deal. Salesforce happens to be the app where they spend most of their time, so watch what happens when they change the opportunity status to closed one. You can see the workflow in Process Street is automatically run. Assignments will automatically generate, notifications will automatically be triggered, and anyone involved in the process of onboarding a new client knows exactly what to do. So diving into the workflow itself, let me show you what you're looking at. On the left, again, you can see our list of tasks. These here are the first actions that must take place to effectively implement this process, such as selecting the correct service offering and getting assigned NDA, essentially the to-dos. In the center here, you can see the details connected to each task, essentially the how-tos. Notice you can create a fun and friendly experience to guide your team through the work with elements such as videos and graphics. We can also assign team members to the various tasks. These assignments can automatically be built in, as you can see here, or if the responsibility lands with different people each time, for instance, there's a different onboarding lead assigned to each client, you can also have the option of selecting the relevant person each time, like this, which you can see on our each task here. Now notice how this task also has a due date. Well, you can set up an entire timeline that automatically builds itself dynamically based off of other tasks first being completed or upcoming critical due dates. When I complete this task here, you can see it triggers subsequent due dates. Speaking about automations again, notice that details about our client have automatically been pulled through from Salesforce to Process Street. The name of the workflow run, the client contact info, and the deal date were automatically populated. No double data entry, no typos, just done for you. And this is just the beginning of the power of automations and integrations. For example, with one click of a button here, we can have a non-disclosure agreement automatically generated and customized in DocuSign and emailed straight to our new client. By the way, Process Street also integrates directly with Slack and Microsoft Teams. So if your team lives and breathes in those apps, you can have folks receive notifications the moment they're assigned to a workflow or task, and they can even complete the work straight from Slack or Teams without even having to log into Process Street. Now, remember how I showed you earlier how your data can be stored right within Process Street? Here's a data set that contains all the standard feature inclusions with our various packages. Rather than input that each time and risk mistakes, watch how in our workflow run, we can simply select the package the client wants and these details automatically populate from our saved data set. I have the option to override this if I wish, 
So let's say in this case, our client negotiated 25 user licenses. I can simply change that here. And if we make a change to our packages overall, I can easily update that data set. And from now on, the new information will pull through for new clients. No more hunting and pecking for the details you need. Your data is ready for use at all times. Now, one concern we hear from folks is, I want consistency in my process, but it's not always the same. For example, when we hire, some employees need security clearance and others don't. Or depending on the type of investment we're considering, there are different levels of due diligence that are required. Well, this is where conditional logic fits in. Notice that when I select the service package in the dropdown, a couple things happen. First, some relevant content pertaining to that package appears right here in the task. This way, I can only see what I need to see, keeping my user experience simple and tidy. Now look over here to the task list. When I select the pro package versus the enterprise package, you can see the tasks adjust accordingly. This allows you to account for forks in the road in your process, and your team can simply follow the steps in front of them without having to make decisions or possibly errors along the way. The workflow automatically adjusts to the situation at hand. Now, speaking of automatically, you can have process AI actually do some of the work for you inside of your workflows. For example, you can use an AI task to draft a blog article for you or a newsletter or social media content. It can translate text into additional languages, parse data from blocks of texts or emails. It can even analyze or summarize content for you. And as AI continues to develop, the possibilities for how you can use it in Process Street expand just as quickly. So in our client onboarding workflow, for example, we have AI generate a summary about our client's company. The time we would have normally spent researching our client to prepare for a meeting is drastically reduced, as now we have all the pertinent information at our fingertips with intelligent talking points ready to go. A few other handy shortcuts worth pointing out. When your process involves sending an email, Process Street makes that easy with a built-in email element. Notice here how data collected in the workflow run, such as this meeting date, can be used to populate the email. So you can send an email that's both standardized and personalized with one click. You can even have Process AI draft the email copy for you, by the way. You have a choice to edit it at any time if you want to, but no need to draft emails from scratch or copy, paste, and customize templates anymore. You can also build approvals right into your workflow, whether for the purpose of overseeing outputs generated by AI or just good old fashioned team collaboration. This makes back and forth communication easy as the approver can simply reject a submission, sending it back with feedback, or they can approve the task, locking it down with a time-stamped record. Now it's worth mentioning that you also have the ability to give as much or as little access to all of your various workflow runs to folks on your team, as well as external people such as your clients or vendors. For example, in our client onboarding process, we wanna give our clients the chance to select some merchandise as a welcome gift. We can share a section of this workflow with our clients. This is just a section of our workflow that we want to give them access to see, which creates a friendly and professional experience for our clients and makes it easier for our internal team to collect deliverables from them, i.e. no more chasing down needed materials via email and phone calls. Thank goodness. As you can see here, we've got a couple more automations set up, sending a notification to Slack and updating a Google Sheet. Now our team at Process Street will be happy to explore with you the best way for you to leverage your own specific processes. But in the meantime, you may be wondering how to manage all of these workflows. After all, some companies that use Process Street have very long workflows with hundreds of tasks that span six months from start to finish, and others run thousands of workflows per month. So let's talk about reporting and analytics. Because beyond the doing of the work and the tracking progress within the workflows themselves, you're also able to get insights on your entire operations with reporting and analytics. First, an important question that anyone on your team needs to know is, what should I be focused on today? So with all of your recurring work captured in Process Street, the inbox makes it easy for each individual to see clearly what's on their plate each day and what's coming up. 
In the event that someone's out of the office, another team member can easily take a peek at what they were scheduled to work on to ensure nothing slips between the cracks. And beyond each individual's work, you also have a reports dashboard that gives an overview of the status of all workflows. Here we can see how far along each client is in their onboarding, for example, whether something's overdue, and if it is, what's overdue and who needs to take action. We can also get a quick glance at important details such as the status of various tasks and even specific data we want to have at our fingertips. With analytics, you can get a quick understanding of your team workload balance and gain deeper insights into the effectiveness of your processes in general so that you can make continuous improvements. So now that you've gotten a tour of Process Street, you may have questions about how it might work with your specific situation. Whether you're in finance, HR, IT, marketing, or you're an owner operator, whether you have one key process that you need to streamline or you wanna get your entire departments or company's operations running like a well-oiled machine, we're here to help guide you in the right direction. Book a consultation call with our team today.